that's where I start. But here's where I really start. If there was one piece of advice I could give to others, first, take a deep breath. A greater evil lurks like a low-lying mist in a bad B-movie. You know, the ones on late at night with their black and white, cringe-worthy special effects that could only mirror the acting of that guy, who would play a space villain slash monster slash thing, and would still manage to have that creepy porn star mustache in each. Anyway, that greater evil exists. This poison to our waters? Cable television. Now stop. Don't get me wrong. I used to be feeling very much how you are right now. Thoughts such as, uh, what? Are you kidding me? And even, the f I know, I know. But you have to understand, you've been spoon-fed television. You probably wouldn't even realize it because it was so long ago. It tastes like a cross between cinnamon graham crackers, apples, and pure effing chloroform. For me, television was more than just something to do. It was life. TV was my friend. TV was my teacher. TV was my sibling. Even my parent. Sure, I had parents, but I say this very loosely. My dad was always working, and so was my mother. When my mother wasn't working, she spent her time doing what she loved, drinking heavily and smoking. I only knew this because that's the only time I saw her. We'd watch game shows, she'd do her thing, and then when dad came home, off they'd disappear, and the cycle would repeat as usual. One day, this wasn't the case. My dad says, son, we're moving. Get your things or we're leaving without you. I didn't know what was going on or what to do, or how to react, anything. Plus, he was in the way of my show. Just as quickly as this happened, my parents packed the apartment up. So there I was, alone in an apartment. Of course, I had my TV. Apparently some forgotten pots and pans, too. At first, things weren't that bad. <laughs> Then I got hungry. We're moving. We're moving. It's about, it's about time, time we moved out. Get your things and leaving without you. you. Mom. About here, I realized I was left to be forgotten. Mom. After what seemed like days, desperation finally set in. It had been 22 minutes. Pizza house? Can I have one large cheese? Hey, open up. I know you're in there. It's so loud, I can hear you down the hall. You're both in China shop, except no China shop. And I should know. Fine, have it your way. Come on, when you're done being bitch.
Bruce Lee lives here? Why everyone always think just because I'm Asian, I look like Bruce Lee? What you doing? Are you retarded or something? Who do you think you are? Karate kid? More like karate. Well, karate. Well, I don't know. You look dumb right now. Oh, you Mr. Kelly, son. Why you act like bitch and not open door? Your parents did not tell me you stay. Well, I... That means you still owe money. Do you have any food? Oh, I have food. You pay rent and have Chinese buffet, including macaroni and cheese, since you're not Chinese. Wait, what? And you said my parents- Your parents are dumb too. Hi, son. Oh yeah, great idea, real smart. Not the case. You think I'm dumb? I'm not karate dumbass. You are. But I- But! Ugh, oh, gross. No buts. You pay now. Oh, you find out the hard way. And don't be bitch. That's it. Ah, you back. That not take long. It's longer than I thought. You got money? Okay, okay. Come in. Hurry up, hurry up. DM off of 44. That young gentleman was wailing and, uh, Oh, I love that show. It's hilarious. People are so dumb. It makes me feel good. So you here? Now where my money? All the money is um. Well. And speak. All the money. Not that better. Not the money. Whoa, why would you do that? Come on, I was watching that. It's my favorite show, and it's one of the best episodes. And the main character was... Oh. The money. Yeah, oh, the money. Look, I just need... I mean, want. I want my TV turned back on. And then everything can go back to... No, no, no. No money? Well, you screwed, Dr. Jones. What do you mean, screwed? Well, what am I supposed to do? I live here! Well, sort of, since my parents technically left, and even though I remain within their place of residence, I'm but a vessel amongst the space which encompasses me, and... Oh my god, what am I going to do? No food? No TV? No more home improvement? No! This is worse than when the Jerry Springer show premiered! This is worse than when you find out that Dallas is all just a stupid room and room. Maybe this, Maybe this is what the song that never ends feels like. Hey, 
Look, hey. Did you eat yet? Give me a lot. You been here before? It's good. Real good. Here, menu. No one's dancing. Where's Richie? Hey, something wrong with you? I'm Potsy. Hey, are you gonna order a what? what? Like, what do you think this is? Happy days? Okay, jeez. Just hoping I can meet the font. having. Yeah, that sounds good. Real good. I'll have the usual. I guess make it mix the two, I guess. All right. I will be right back with your drinks. Thanks. What's that all about? Uh, wait. Kissy. You like it, don't you? No. Look, I come here a lot. I know she's available. We should take her out. With the Fonz, eh? Yeah, it, it, it would never work. She, she would never uh, go for guys. Now you're being bitch after all. Why do you keep saying that? You know what? I'll prove you wrong. Yeah, I'll prove you real wrong. Uh, what, sh what should I do? I, I don't have any money or anything. Look, I'll help, okay? Another thing or two. Then you stop being bitch. Give me back rent. We're both happy family. Okay, deal. Good morning. You're acting awfully introspective. When I get introspective, it means I'm depressed. And good night. I can feel your feet, and they are twitching. When my feet twitch, it means that I'm upset. Children, let's grow old together. Take me as I am. Do, do you want that all at once, or do you want me to bring it out in courses? <laughs> uh, oh, you screw now, Doctor Jones. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> He got a case of coffee. Uh, so cold. <laughs> I cracked myself up.
Dr. Jones, wake up. Hello, Dr. Jones. You okay? Dr. Jones. Wake up, stop being loud, bitch. Oh. Ha. <laughs> I know that's wake you up. Because if that didn't work, you're going to get punched. Mm. To try with this. Ha. <laughs> I can't. I can't. But you've been out forever. It's been like three days. I thought you were dead. Thank God you're not. Got a white. It did not look good for tenant. It's not like lawsuit. Looking for these? I found it on the floor. Oh, no good. I tried it earlier before I woke you up because I was gonna watch all my children. I love that show. Ugh. Anyway, you ready? Ready? For what? My TV to work again? For you to go, surprise, present for you. You don't have to be a prick about it. A prick about it? Look, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear anything more, in fact. You know why? Huh? Because I go through all this trouble. I get a job. I learn to do all these things. And why? Because you told me to. Because you told me I had to pay rent. And then I go through all the work with the waitress. And just for you two to laugh at me because you knew I'd fail? Yeah? Well, maybe that's it. You know, if that was the case, Maybe I would have never stopped going to school all those years ago. And I would have never said to my mom that I didn't want to go to school anymore because I'd rather just stay at home and watch TV all day because I was being made fun of and picked on. I mean, I have to be a freaking outcast. You know, maybe my parents would still be here right now. Or I'd be elsewhere and happier. I'm not such a little bitch like you seem to keep reminding me. But Hugh, I didn't mean to say- No! Don't try and fix it. Never felt anything like this before. You know what? It really hurts. Right now, I'd rather take the bridge than deal with all this... this shit. I don't think that sometimes. Uh-uh. Uh, to, to busy thinking about myself. My cousin called, he said, Julian Wu, how are you? I don't care. Haha, <laughs> I kid. I'm having a party, I turned 25. And you family I have here. So bring fat and we have big fun, okay? Bye. So you see, we go now. Come on, let's go. Look, Julian, I don't want to go. Oh, now you back being low, bitch. What happened to you? What happened to Fawns? You put dumb move and now you're being even bigger, bitch. Look at you. All right, see, that's what I'm talking about. You cry about. lay low, girl. You go wham, 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 and for what? Because of some girl? Because you finally grew into being a young man and not the little boy that you once forgotten and be treated like little pet. This is not TV. This is real life. And things are not perfect. It's time to wake up, Hugh. All right. Jesus, I'll go. Ah, there you go. You dress up already. And you look good, too. So come on, let's go. I drive. Let's go. I don't want the neighbor to know. Plus, I see that girl's face in the show. Clarissa? She explains it all. I'll meet you in a second. I have to get something first. It's a rough ordeal dealing with life's many issues. Sometimes the things we think we need the most are really the things holding us back. You need to listen to the people around you. Okay, Dr. Joe? Most of all, you need to be aware of them too. You look like shit. Nothing lasts forever. <laughs> Except for Julian Wu's bad driving. <laughs> Just a little bit, that's all. <laughs> 